Hey guys, what is up? It's Wolf, you're one and only, and I'm gonna be here giving a first impression of Tria Savior. So I'm gonna give my like first impression on it and see how it is. Now like I was really interested when they first announced in like Korea about this game, so I'm actually hoping it's like really promising as much as I saw about it. Okay, login area on there. Okay, there we go. Team name. Choose a team name for all your characters. Uh, team Lazy. Up, oh, name's already used. Lazy Cats. Name is already used. Jesus. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's used too. Nope, it is not used, surprisingly enough. Alright, what classes do they have? Archer, Swordsman, Wizard, and a Cleric who's all by himself. Wait, no, there's a Cleric. Hmm. Guess I'll take, um, Archer. Oh, we can change his hairstyle, but... Okay, we can zoom in a little. Can't like change his skin color, so. Can't change his hair color either. Well, for now, that we see. Oh god, too many O's. Alright, I'll just go back to this one. Difficulty of using, but high damage. Now, which city do we want to start in? That's the question. A mining town. And a town where you protected... Protect ourselves on a giant castle. Ah, huh. I think I want to start inside of a mining town. If anything. So, let's get on our adventure. Loading the intro. Like I expected, the art is actually pretty nice. So, this game is technically 3D, but it looks like a 2D-ish art style. So it's a little bit mixed. I really love the art of the game. I heard greeted by an angel. Guess I am seeing this. Like, that is very beautiful art right there. Amazing. Alright, you need my help? I shall help you. So I guess it was all a dream. Alright, so now we have our character. We can just start our and just go in. There we go. So, okay, my mouse is not needed at all. Well, I can just turn this off. Well, I can use a mouse, controller, or keyboard. Diagonal. Okay, I was not trying to do that. I was trying to figure out everything else, but too late now. Okay, so Z is to attack. If I hold down Z, I just continuously attack. Space is to talk to people.
I don't really have to use my mouse at any time. I guess this is like a checkpoint. Or like a teleport. Sort of like uh, similar to Grand Fantasia when you get close to the teleporters it lights up and you can like teleport from each one. But we see our little icon up here. We're gonna talk to this guy. Why not? Oh my, little onions are attacking us. Okay, the class doesn't seem all that difficult. It looks like it has auto tracking to it. That's a little bit odd. Let's look at our... have a look at our settings. Our settings. Controller vibration. Show our name. Do only our T name and some other things. Even change it to any of these if you want it to. And it doesn't seem like they have uh, borderless windows, so kind of makes me sad a little. I'll return. Um, that's some other settings over here too, where you can disable something. You can actually change your language to Korean if you wanted to. But my Korean doesn't translate very well. I'm gonna change back to English. For some reason, I guess it just works for theirs. So that's pretty much all we have, guys, for our options. Let's turn down the music a little. All the sound effects, at least. Sound effects are very loud for me. All right, let's take a look at our skills. Or we can go back first. Oh, so we can teleport to anybody? That's sort of weird too. I have never seen that before. Increasing my stats. So F1. Ah, that's actually pretty interesting. You know what? Let me put it inside of strength. I think that's what we're supposed to do. And there we go. Now we can continue on. Now it doesn't seem like we can teleport to anywhere that requires us to go and fight enemies. I guess we can only teleport back to the people once we're done with the quest. So we're in the area where we need to defeat leaf bugs. Alright, so now I can push this and it will warp me back to this guy. That is actually pretty easy and kind of really nice. So, F1. Oh, so this is pretty much like quick leveling. Leveling cards. Interesting. Extremely interesting, actually. Now... All I'm wondering is, does this game have mounts and things? It'd be actually pretty interesting to see how their mounts look. Alright, seems like we're fighting these guys again. Oh, we got a large one this time. Oh, you have to, like, be facing forward just to lock onto them. Oh god, he exploded. So, okay, so I'm still talking to this guy. So, I can get a skill now.
So F3. Now we can get a skill. Temporary movement speed. There we go. So Alright, so there's some weird targeting to it. Ah, so you can move around. Alright, interesting. So when this is starting to spin around, you guys can use backspace or you guys can tap it. Then it teleports you to the guy that you already got the quest done for. Can I move this? No? Alright. Now we're gonna... Okay, it's down here. Game actually looks really amazing. Wait, what's that? Can I... I don't know what that did. This does look like a game I would probably stick hours into. You level does that just destroy everything around you that's what it looks like now this game is on steam so you guys can try it out if you like it and you know i like it so far oh hello guys Okay, that's a little bit weird. Can't hold it down or it will do something like... Like, whichever way you're going, if you're, like, back shooting, it'll, like, point that way. That's weird that I can spam that skill. probably stop spamming the skill at this point. Alright, there's something over here. I'm collecting something. Collect their petals. Alright, I got another one. So where are the other guys so I can get their pedals too? There we go. Grab their pedals, not gonna just push backspace and teleport all the way back to this guy. Not bad, not bad. So where does this guy want me to go now? I'll take that quest. Oh, he's giving us weapons now. Work to this guy. There we go. Oh god. Bonfire. Push insert to rest. That's weird because there's usually X inside of games. Ah, oh, so you could build like a bonfire? Craft item. And then there's gym enchant, then there's card synchronization. So I would need room to do that. So let's get up and move over here. Like an empty space. But we don't really have a like bonfire on us right now. Or I guess the materials for it. Gonna give us one some or not? So I guess we get it when we have it. Technically, they technically didn't have to do it at that point. 
So we're gonna put in some of our points. Now we got we did get a new weapon as well. So we're gonna equip that since it does more damage. Now this game gives me a little bit of feel of fate, if you guys have played that game. It's like a really old dungeon crawler. This gives me somewhat of a feel like it, but it doesn't actually like look like it. Alright, so he's gonna give us another card for completing this quest. Go to the statue. Uh, the statue like over here or back there? Okay, there's a statue over here. All the way across the map. That guy's just, you know, living his life. I'm not gonna end it. Not yet, at least. You guys look like you're chilling. There it is. And now I can backspace back. Oh, I worshipped it. Okay, now go down here is pretty much what he said. Or was it a different way? Pretty sure he said down here. Okay, dude, you can't be falling out of the sky like that. Maybe how it works. Is this really the right, right way? Huh? I don't... I have no idea. Okay, did I not pick up the quest from him? No, I picked up the quest. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. Alright, I got an item from it. So, you can discover these treasure chests they have, like, loot in them. Sweet. So let's check over here and make sure. Okay, bros. You like, leave me alone. I'm just trying to explore this beautiful forest. And you're chasing me. Alright, let's go talk to this guy with the blue flag. Since there's no more goat flags. Alright, so defeat these guys. I can do that. There we go. Just picked up like some kind of staff. I could spam that until I run out of SP. That that's weird. I don't think you can't really spam is your um your buff. I can use that to get back my stamina. Ah, oh, so I have to go all the way back over here. And you people are really needy. Can't you guys just like grab a mule and do the adventure yourself? I guess not since I'm the hero. Wait, is this the right way? Apparently it is, but it doesn't like let me go up there. So it's making me go all the way around. I guess you can like jump down from it. Instead of, like, going around it. Oh, going through it, at least. I have 73% of the map explored. So that's actually pretty awesome that it tells you how much of the map you have explored up here. So I have not explored over here, so I guess I'll do that. Get 100% of explored. And there's nothing over here. Alright, explored that. Let's go to our little 
Why do you guys choose to chase me when you come out of the ground or fall out of the sky? Not cool, man. As you guys can see, it's it's 3D, but it just looks 2D, like I was saying at the beginning. It just has a different art style from a lot of games. Um... Wait... He's not trying to push that. So it seems like I can go down there and finish that quest. But there's also a quest down here that I can finish. Oh, that is actually pretty sick. Oh, that's their Gohums? That doesn't seem pleasant. So, as you can see, they do have like the little um, indication of where they're gonna hit. Okay. I got loot. Damn it up. So that just restores your SP then. Alright, we defeated the golem, and now we're gonna go turn in our quest. It seems like we have... Eh. We have, like... 86 of the map revealed? Where where else is there more? These. Oh, we're not gonna do the, all of it now. That'll just be us tryharding. Okay, so we go up here. I wonder will it fill up as we finish these quests? Oh, it's you again. Our arch nemesis, the great big onion. Okay, that was actually pretty fast. I don't even know what just happened there. This is the tutorial area for it, but Jesus. Alright, turn in this quest. You guys are gonna follow me like a long way, aren't you? So, as we complete these quests, they don't, like, increase our exploration. So we're just pretty much doing these quests for fun. I'm just giving you guys a little bit, uh, a 30 minute taste of the game. On first impression, it is actually really good and fun. For those of you guys who like, like, up top dungeon crawler games, it's probably for you, but if you guys enjoy up top uh, MMOs in any way, I definitely recommend you guys try this out. Because this is definitely an MMO that needs more attention. I barely even see any players around. Probably like all the way past me, or probably the, the first area is just for me, I don't know. That's what I would have guessed, but then again, probably not. Okay, that's disturbing. I don't know what you are, but you must die. Okay, okay, okay. What are you doing, sir? Sir? Okay. Jeez, man. Not cool. But I did get some loot from that. After him mindlessly beating me with like magic seeds that come falling from the sky. Hmm. I might uh increase this one too. Because SP would be really good for this character too. Especially to spam skills. All 
Alright. God, there are a lot of you guys over here. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> you guys see this? That was like the quickest level so far. The game looks extremely easy. Especially it gets a lot tougher when you like go into dungeons and fight with friends. Alright, we only got one more quest and it's pretty much to the other side of this whole map. So we just finished like the tutorial area, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll go run into another cinematic as we enter over here. Uh oh. We got a big angry turtle with two tails. Rock Duga. There we go. Seems like my third skill is better than any other skill. But we just finished that. I just noticed the little loading symbol is the guy like mining. So depending on where you start is just depending on like a different setup for stories and all that. I guess other people like mostly start out in the castle. I started out in the town. I'm on channel one. Well, channel two, I mean. So there's a lot of quests up here. Very easy to navigate in. Oh, there go some other players. Nearby parties. You can actually join other people's parties when it pops up on the side. So I can talk to this guy. What quest would he give me? Would it be to talk to other people? Ah, oh, so he would give me warp. Oh, worship their god. Okay. Goddess. Where is she? I'll worship her. Anything for scrolls. Let's just activate it. And yeah, you can just teleport to him, whichever one you worship to. Some of the goddess actually look pretty nice in this game. Like, really fleshed out and drawn well. Like, really amazing. Talk to the merchant. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. So, guys, I hope you guys got it like a little grasp of what Shriya Savior has to offer. I really do recommend you guys try this game out. It's really not all that bad. And it actually deserves a lot more credit than it than people have been giving it. I guess some people just can't uh, expand to like different MMOs as much as other can. I understand that. So I'm not forcing you guys to play it. I'm not saying that it's better than any other game. I'm just saying that it's actually pretty decent. You guys can try it out. I'm just gonna you know, put a skill right there. Now, with that said, I think I finished up here on my first impressions and I can say I'll probably give this game like 7 out of 10 so far. So with that said, 
I'll see you guys next time on the next first impression. This has been fun, and peace out.